Alrighty, everyone. Welcome back, everyone, to another episode of Let's Play The Legends of the Breath of the Wild. Alright, um... It, quick introduction. Um, we are going to be collecting the remaining memories. Um, so we can get another... Oh, my God. Another story quest out of the way. Starting at... Well, the first one on the list. If I could, like, actually get through. Hold on, just wait. Let me run this real quick before um, she hits the fan. Now we got most of them, and I've marked locations on where each memory is located so far. So really, shouldn't take us that long. Chosen by the sword that seals the darkness. You have shown unflinching bravery and skill in the face of darkness and adversity, and have proven yourself worthy of the blessings of the goddess Hylia. Whether skyward bound, adrift in time, or steeped in the glowing embers of twilight, the sacred blade is forever bound to the soul of the hero. We pray for your protection, and we hope that that the two of you will grow stronger together as one. Forged in the long distant past. The sword Gee, this is uplifting. Darkness. She's making it sound like we already lost. Wasn't this your idea? You're the one who wanted to designate the appointed night with all the ceremonial pomp, grandeur, and nonsense we could muster. And if you ask me, the whole thing does seem to be overkill. I think I'm on the same page as the princess regarding this boy. Oh, give it a rest. That boy is a living reminder of her own failures. Well, at least that's how the princess sees him. Yay! We love when things start getting depressing. Aw, oh, for fuck's sakes! I'm out of here. Okay, so while we're basically up here, I'm just gonna go ahead and do a little recap. Uh, basically in the last episode, we finished up the, um... The Champion's Ballad DLC side quest. Or, why do I keep saying DLC side quest? It's DLC quest. Um, I think I'm in the right area. I just gotta figure out where it is. Uh, right here. Perfect. And also, we got ourselves a bike out of everything. So that's awesome. Here we'll make our way to Goron City. Then we'll need some adjustments on that divine beast so Daru can manage it as easily as possible. He's figured out how to get it to move. However, it's apparent that we still have much more to learn. But to think, that divine beast was actually built by people. That means we should be able to understand how it works and how to use it to our advantage. These divine beasts. So much we don't know, but if we want to turn back Calamity Ganon, they're our best hope. Tell me the truth. How proficient are you right now wielding that sword on your back? Legend says that an ancient voice resonates inside it. Can you hear it yet, hero? Oh, I 
I don't think I can just yet. Maybe a little bit longer. Okay. Didn't know there was a little Korok spot right here before I uh, get the next memory. Is there? Oh, yeah, there is. Hold on, hold on. So really, I'm probably just going to invest in uh, weapons and bows. Alright. By the way, I'm kind of going in order from the memories we have yet to find. So, let's recall this one. No, I actually can't wait to actually, in the future, I do want to play Age of Calamity. I want to know what Hyrule Castle looked like before uh, Breath of the Wild. That cut doesn't look too bad, actually. You're fine for now. But you know, there's a fine line between courage and recklessness. Is that a fucking Lionel? As brave as you are, that does not make you immortal. I'll, uh... Oh, wait, no, there's it like 20. Not only is the frequency of these types of attacks on the rise, but the scale of beasts we are facing is intensifying as well. I fear that... I fear that this is an omen which portends the return of Calamity Ganon. And, if that's the case, I'm ready to expect the worst. We'll need to make preparations as soon as possible. <gasps> that car's like, hey, what have you been staring at? Staring at the fact that I, the fact that I took on like a horde of Bacoblins and like, fu like three fucking um Lionels at the same time. Rivali's Gale is now ready. Thank you, my guy. Oh, here it is. Oh, my booty hole. I think this one's like the funniest one out of all the memories. Called the Silent Princess. It's a rare, endangered species. Despite our efforts, we can't get them to grow domestically yet. The princess can only thrive out here, in the wild. All that we can hope is that the species will be strong enough to prosper on its own. <gasps> is that what I think it is? Look at this. I don't believe it, but I actually caught one. This delicacy is known to have very, very potent effects under the proper circumstances. Ta-da! Research from the castle shows ingesting one of these can actually augment certain abilities. We wouldn't be in a controlled environment out here, but with your level of physical fitness, you'd be a perfect candidate for the study. Go on. Taste it. <laughs> Yeah, Lake and Frogs, uh, they go well, but not to the point that you want to go ahead and just, like, legitimately eat one right off the bat. Here we are. 
This was the one that I passed by like so many episodes ago. in suspense? How'd everything go up there on the mountain? <laughs> so you didn't feel anything? No power at all? I'm sorry now. Then let's move on. You've done all you could. Feeling sorry for yourself won't be of any help. After all, it's not like your last shot was up there on Mount Lanayru. Anything could finally spark the power to seal Ganon away. We just have to keep looking for that... thing. That's kind of you. Thank you. If I may... I thought you... Well, I'm not sure how to put this into words. I'm actually quite embarrassed to say it. But I was thinking about what I do when I'm healing. You know, what usually goes through my mind. It helps when I think, when I think about. Wasting time. We're gonna need everything we got to take that thing down. Now, champions, to your divine beasts. Show that swirling swine who's boss. Link will need to meet Ganon head on when we attack. This needs to be a unified assault. Little guy, you get to Hyrule Castle. You can count on us for support, but it's up to you to pound Ganon into oblivion. Come, we should go. We need to get you someplace safe. No. I'm not a child anymore. I may not be much use on the battlefield. But there must... There must be something I can do to help. Yeah, I think that's a great reaction to remembering the the day where everything went to shit. Yep. This memory shows when Ganon finally came back. Now all we have left... It's just one last memory. Which is all the way over here. So, I'll see you guys in a bit. In a bit. Here we are, boys.
divine beasts. The guardians, they've all turned against us. It was Calamity Ganon. It turned them all against us. And everyone, Mipha, Rebosa, Rivali, and Daruk, they're all trapped inside those things. It's all my fault. Our only hope for defeating Ganon is lost. All because I couldn't harness this cursed power. Everything, everything I've done up until now, it was all for nothing. So I really am just a failure. All my friends, the entire kingdom, my father most of all. I tried and I failed them all. I left them all to die. Found location of all twelve pictures. <sighs> Jesus. We really went through a weird way to get the hell out of Dodge. Oh. Well, well, you've returned. What is it? I've basically remembered everything. Hmm? No. All 12 pictures already. You visit every place? Uh, yeah, it... What do you mean already? This took, like, most of the Let's Play. Hmm. Then I suppose it's time. I will reveal the location of the final memory. Here is what happened. Lady Zelda gave me specific instructions. She asked me to wait to show you this. Oh. This is the final picture. Does it look familiar? From this village, you should be able to get there in half a day's time. Now go, child. Seek out what Lady Zelda has shown you. So... I've recently found out, but there's actually a cutscene where what where what happens if you go here without taking the picture. You can take a picture of it, and when you go see the memory, Link will like you know do what he always does when he locates a new memory. But just for the sake of this, we're gonna go ahead and walk there uh, without the memory. In the album. Well, let's get started. Ah. Looks like we're running low on gas, too. Alright, here it is. The final, final memory.
Lord. So he can... He can still be saved? Princess! Huh? Princess, are you all right? Take Link to the Shrine of Resurrection. If you don't get him there immediately, we are going to lose him forever. Is that clear? So make haste and go. His life is now in your hands. No, nah, not yet. We still got things to do. You're gonna have to hold on for a little bit longer, Zelda. But yeah. Uh, now we have all the memories. Finally. Yeah, there's actually a secret um memory right here. Um, after you get the other twelve memories, it's just you know, wait, and then well. Guess if you really want to see the story, you can go ahead and view them whenever you want to. Well, that's it. You don't really get anything cool out of it. But still, it's another, uh... It's another one down. Um, another one bites the dust, as I say. Um... Anyways... All we have left to do is to destroy Ganon. Well... Not yet. Not, not yet. We 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 still got a we still got a few things left to do. We got like a couple shrines that we gotta go ahead and take on. We still got um all the side quests left to do. We have to explore the rest of this place. Um, so yeah. Um, basically, I am gonna do just that. Let's head to the island, folks. Is this gonna be a... I figured. Alright, bitches, let's go. <laughs> Don't ask why I went back to the Twilight outfit. I figured, you know, I've been wearing a lot of my Hylian outfit, which is usually what I uh, wear normally. Whenever I play this game. You know what? Let's go wear this for the rest of the series. I'll probably mix it up every now and then, but this gets me a bonus. Speaking of which, what do we got in here? Oh, finally! We get the, we get the uh, climbing gear shirt. Sick. All we need left is the boots and... Or the not the boots, the pants, and then we could, um, complete it. Alright, so we're going back with our usual thing I was doing for, like, the last, like, 12 episodes. Or 14 episodes. Possibly even, like, 18 episodes. Which was, uh, collect all the shrines. We're halfway there. Um, well, probably not. We gotta, like, subtract four. Uh, I guess either way we'll be halfway there because, well, either way. Um, so anyways, let's keep at it. Wait, what? Oh my god, you are not serious. We just did one of these. Alright, looks like these guys want another round. Easy clappage. that. Uh, I guess I could take the battle axe, maybe the spear. Yeah, the axe is basically just going to be a master sword for the time being. Now what sort of fun shit am I going to get in here? 
I mean, I am kind of broke, so that helps quite a bit. Alright. Alright. Another stamina vessel, please. Thank you very much. Ah. Vasak, a Hylian Vi, huh? Can't tell who you are, but this is not a place for young Vi. I'm literally like 116 years old. I'm fine. Because the drinks we make here are different than regular drinks. For one, they have rare treat in them. Ice. You mean like a regular drink? You want to try our signature drink, Noble Pursuit? Unfortunately, I need a huge amount of ice to make that drink, and I'm fresh out right now. Besides, it's a really strong drink. What is it, a Long Island iced tea? If I could make it, I wouldn't sell it to a little Vi like you. Well, actually... What'd you say? Pokey's collapse? Mm. I want to help her out, but I can't make it you-know-what without ice. There's ice at the ice house. My legs are in the best shape for hauling ice. Should I get it for you? Ooh. Are you serious? You'll do it? That'd be a great help. Pokey is my best customer, after all. I wish I could get the ice myself. Anyway, the ice house is north of town. Ank H man manages it, but I think if you explain the situation, she'll let you have some ice. She knows she heads to bed quite early. If you plan to go, you need to get there when it's bright out. Oh, young lady, carry that ice all the way through the desert all the way back to town? I can't let that stand. If you bring the ice to the entrance of the ruins, between town and the ice house, I can take it from there. Well, guess I'm taking a nap. There we go. Sign like two birds with one stone. Or I don't know. Some do with an arrow. Alright, that marks another uh, shrine quest. What do we have? Uh, let me get my gear on. I'm gonna walk in with a shield on. Oh, never mind. It's not gonna work. Alright. I don't think we took on a modest test of strength yet, but basically, it's not that difficult. Clapped. I wonder how many of you guys are tired of me using the big Goron sword all the time. Alright, what we got? Seriously? You know, it's actually better than my current Frostblade, so... Alright, here we are. The Ice House. Hola! This is the ice house used for storing the ice brought down for the mountains. Seems we live in the desert, it's pretty important stuff for Scrudo. So I got the ice house 24 hours a day. Actually, you don't. Oh. I see. Well, Frozen wants ice, so you should bring us some. You're permitted to take some ice. You've taken the heat into account, right? If you move too slowly, the ice will surely melt. Frozen has no use for water. I mean, unless like people need to get their hydration up. Water is the liquid of life, folks. Keep that in mind. Okay. So basically we just need to go from one edge to the other edge. I'm half tempted to mo you know what? I'm gonna speed this up. Enjoy the uh Smash Bros theme while uh I basically show you how it's done, but first here's what you need to know about this. Stay in the mother fucking Shade. Now for the montage.
You know what? If you want to do this quest right, wait till like the last oh. fucking minute so then it gets cold and you could just cheese it. I never knew this would happen. Uh. Hmm. You're... Well, whatever. I don't care who you are as long as I get my ice. I'm ah. literally... All right, then. Um, looks like the ice is in good shape. Sarko. Will this spell be able to make the ultimate noble pursuit? Sarko, please let Pokey know. Tell her got I made the best one ever. I've got And I've got to wait for her. Ah. Knowing her, she'll probably come running as soon as she hears there's an amazing drink for a name on it. How are we going to lug that ice home? I... Bye? Alrighty then. Let's get going. I can't take it anymore. I'm going to rot here. Actually, you're going to rot in the canteen and get your guts consumed by like some toxin. Because alcohol is apparently toxic for your body. That's why you puke when you drink too much of it. Did you say the best noble pursuit ever? I am gone. Kinda wish I said that from the very beginning. Oh, of course, it's a blessing shrine. Let's fucking go. I get diamonds for my rewards. Yay. Sounded so flamboyant, but that's okay. Oh, right. What do we got to do here? Power of reach. Reach for the stars. Can I just, like, waltz this? Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Cool. That is, um, Trey Unique, my guy. What the fuck is this? Gorn Artsons use recycled metal to forge his weapon. Tip is made from old ac ac evac ac excavation board, which affords unmatched piercing capabilities. Fuck free swords. It's literally like throwing ice. Well, I just yeet into the stratosphere. Okay. Thank you. Finally. Holy swig swaggity crap. Someone's lying to me. Huh, easy victory. Now this is why it's recommended you don't 100% this game before tackling on the champion's ballad. Who doesn't want to go on a snow but on a motorcycle across snow? Oh Canada. Oh, fuck. That circle's. Uh, yeah, we know.
Holy fuck. That's a <sighs> what we got here? Shift and lock. God damn it. Please let this be worth it. Okay. Yep, that's worth it. Alright, another one bites and does. Blum ba 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 bum. Here we are again. Alright. It's been a while since we last been to one of these things. Trial on the cliff. Hello guys. So you guys are back with me where I'm where I belong and I'm uh gonna get through this somehow. Uh probably the best way I mean I do that. No, get off. Probably the best way to get through this. A little bit of height advantage. Oh, I got juked. Nope, I'm gonna have to figure out a route in. <gasps> Diamonds. I wonder if I can make a sword out of that. Do 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 do. Well, that took fucking ages. Alright, which part of the barbarian set will we get? The leg wraps. Well, looks like there's a place in the winter. Uh, in this region, too, I mean. The stables. What do we gotta deal with here? Uh, not another one of these. Yeah, no thanks. I'll get you in a minute. Please be worth it. 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 What? Yo, what the hell? Alright. I've seen enough. I thought I seen it all. Clearly? Clearly, I haven't seen it all. I traveled to the east and the west of my great hunt for information. And now I find myself here in the freezing north. Heard there's a stall horse in the area, but I can't take it any longer. It's too cold to look anymore, a stall horse. Uh. Beep beep. You just set off uh Wanella's Wan Wanel's intuition sensors. You're interested in stall horses too, huh? 
I just want to see this creepy stall horse monster once in my own eyes. It really does exist. It's such a big scoop. Well, I can handle uh, dangers and hazards, but it's cold. Oh, I can't stand it. Can you handle this task for me? I'll even reward you. All I need is a picture or some notes. I can do it. Good answer. There's a rumor it can be found with stall uh, stall, co stall coblins in the North Tabitha Snowfield. So I'm report all the way on the other side of the snowfield to the east, right in front of these snow bizarre ruins. Uh, do I have one? Well, that was easy. N never mind. Rip. All right. Well. Oh, you scared me for a minute. I thought you like spazzed out for a hot second. Red giveaway. Are you kidding me? This shit again? Oh, for fuck's sakes. What? That's... Confused me? Okay. Oh, I remember this. All right, here's what we gotta do. We gotta pick up a big old snowball. Next, we got to all the way up here. All right. Um, I think this will be fine. Go ahead and drop that. <laughs> there we go. Just gotta give it a good old. Gotta use the good old elbow grease. Oh, cool! They even came, even came up with a sapphire tandem. What the fuck? Could I just say you could just say uh, inertia. I'm literally finding more diamonds than I am fucking topaz. Thank you very much. What am I even climbing on? Alright. Another one down. Alright, let's get ourselves another stamina wheel. I think one more will have maxed out stamina. Oh, Jesus Christ, finally that fucking storm has decided to go fuck itself. I can actually get on some decent weapons. But anyway, guys, I think that's gonna go ahead and conclude this episode of Let's Play Breath of the Wild. Um, we did good amount of stuff in this episode um you know did some uh shrines which is always the goal in this let's play is to do as many shrines as possible and now 
we have a lot of shrines, uh, well, completed. Um, we also have, like, so many teleportation spots around Great Plateau, it's ridiculous. Um, we also completed all the memories, finally. So, yeah, the next episode is basically just going to be more of the same, just, just exploring, uh, doing all that jazz with, um, well, <laughs> oh, wait a second, let's not end the episode yet. Um, okay, I'm pretty sure I got more than enough star fragments I need to, like, upgrade everything else. So, what I am going to go ahead and do, because I don't really need rubies, I can literally get as many rubies as possible. Um, oh my god, 2,000 for, th for like, one diamond. Alright. But they're not valuable to me. Um, what I can do, I haven't, I have yet to show this off. But basically what I'm going to go ahead and do is show the long-awaited cutscene on what happens when you, uh, max out, um, or get level 4 gear. So that's going to be fun. So... With the Grey Fairy Fountain literally just up ahead, I'm going to show you guys what happens um, when uh, Link decides to... You can't be serious. Oh my God. Ah. Alright. See what we can do real quick. Uh... Pretty sure we can. Yep. Max out the treasure. I'll, I'll actually do it with the hat, actually. Now, this is going to be fun. <laughs> there we go. Kappa Twilight is now maxed out. Um, don't really know if there's really much else purpose of maxing other stuff out. Ooh, I can most certainly upgrade some of this. And these things too, if I want to. Uh, I don't really know if I want to, like, waste the Star Fragments. Like, I'm not going to upgrade all all this in this let's play i just well you know why i want to up upgrade the uh tunic of twilight because i because i like it even though i do like the uh the sky outfit and probably the ocarina of time and uh wind waker will be a lot better i just like uh the twilight princess one better i do like um skyward swords too um but uh yeah. I'll actually go ahead and like upgrade this while I'm at it. So much running the episode off right guys. No slip gloves? Bullshit. I really wish like if you like fully maxed out like the climbing set, brain doesn't matter. But nope. Apparently they were planning on doing that. I feel like I heard that they were planning on doing something like that, but in the end they decided on against it, but you know. Kinda sucks, but I guess it is what it is. I don't think I'm gonna go ahead and max out the champion's tunic. Aww. Even though it is like the best uh torso outfit in the game. But anyway, guys, that's actually going to go ahead and conclude today's episode of Let's Play Breath of the Wild, because I have been recording for literally... You can't be serious. Oh, I already got this. Yeah, I already got that. <laughs> Never mind. Okay, I've been recording for like 2 hours and 18 minutes right now, and this episode is just going to be fun edited down, uh, sarcastically. I started recording this at like 11.30 a.m. Uh, p.m. It's now like 2.14 p.m. a.m. right now. So yeah, I need to get off right now. I need to like dip out. So thank you guys so much for watching today's episode of Let's Play Breath of the Wild. In the next episode, like I said earlier, like a few minutes ago, it's going to be more of the same. We're just going to go ahead and just like 
do some, uh, just complete all the shrines. Um, why am I not planning on doing the, uh, side quests? Yes, I will do all these. I will do all of these. But they're not really my focus for the time being. I just want to get through to, um, this. I just want to finish the shrines. And, you know, we got a lot of it done. Um, but anyway, I need to get off now. Gale is now ready. Yeah, that's it for me. Thanks, Revali. Bye.